What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm gonna be taking on Reinhardt and Ishtar's Bounder of Battle. In this video I'll be giving you guys 3 Infernal Solutions with absolutely no skeletons and I will only be using free to play units and then I'll also go for a Lunatic Solution and redeem my free summon on the Bounder of Battle banner because I've not really done that yet. Um, so this is my first team for Infernal Difficulty. Uh, this is a pretty good team for the people who do not have Legendary Ike or Fjorm because my other solutions do use them. And I've got two recent Tempest Trial units in Joshua and Ethlyn. But if you do not have Joshua, you could certainly use some other fast mixed bulk red unit. And you just need a Physic Plus healer in place of Ethlyn if you do not have her. Or if you just sacrificed her. And make sure to unequip Windsweep on the slot B of Joshua because we will need him to double that green mage. And this team does not have any sort of skeletons or even Sacred Seals. Now on this map, Ishtar covers a huge range and there's only one tile where you are safe from her and that's this tile. So we're going to be sending off Joshua here. And our other units can stay here. Now because Joshua is so fast, he's not really going to get doubled by um, any of these units. And he's pretty bulky as well. And a 4 star Ursula after getting a Hoon attack buff can actually one round kill this Reinhardt um, from full health which is definitely pretty nice. And we just use a Physic Plus Healer to heal up Joshua. A lot of units on this map actually have Vantage. This Green Manakeet has that. Uh, Reinhardt of course has Vantage. Even this Green Cavalier has Vantage. And of course Ishtar also has Vantage. Um, so let's take out this Green Cavalier. And for this you needed to unequip uh, Windsweep so that he can double. And basically we can just sandwich units uh, between Joshua and this archer and pretty much take them out one by one. Now you want to make sure that your units are on this side of the map so that Ishtar does not come down running towards your units. Um, and the AI is not smart enough to take out this bow fighter so that they can nuke my Joshua with Ishtar who has got her moonbow ready. Um, so this is definitely going to take a while and I'm going to be playing my usual Sarah theme <laughs> for the speed up music. So that's my first Infernal Solution without Legendary Ike and without Fjorm and no Skeletons or Sacred Seals. Now let's move on to my second Infernal Solution. My second Infernal Solution is a No Dancer Solution and I've got Legendary Ike over here. Make sure to give him Quick Repose Sacred Seal and then I've got Matthew. He's mainly here to provide the Hone Speed 3 support and for also healing up Ike with Reciprocal Aid. So if you do not have him, you can just have any kind of unit uh, who has got Hone Speed 3 and just slap this as a skill on them. And make sure to also give them spur defense one secret seal. This is required for Ike's survival. And then I've got Fiarm with her vanilla skill set. And at last, um, Ursula. So let's begin with the infernal difficulty. Now this team does have both Fiarm and Legendary Ike. And as I said before, there is only one tile where we are safe from Ishtar. And that's this tile. So we're going to be focusing on that. And we need the home speed support with Matthew so that we can avoid double. Um, from this green mana heat and also from this buff fighter uh, if he gets the even speed wave buff uh, Which he is not going to be getting because we're going to be attacking him on the odd turn. So let's have uh, The arm and Ursula over here And as I said, we're going to be uh, putting Ike in the range of these units on the odd turn so that this bow fighter only gets the um, odd attack wave buff and he does not get the even speed wave buff now you might be thinking that we could just put Ike in the range of this guy when he does not have the attack buff and only has the speed buff because even with the speed buff he's not going to be able to double Ike. Now the problem with that is that the next turn he's going to be able to take us out. So that's why you have to put your Ike on an odd turn and range of these units. And now if you actually initiated attack on these units on an even turn, then here this bow fighter will be able to take out your Ike. 
and we're just gonna be using reciprocal aid uh, with Matthew and like I said you do need the spur defense wand support for Ike's survival over here so you can just take out Reinhardt with Ursula thanks to the drive attack buff from Fiarm yes. and you can just block the path of this green mage that tree is definitely gonna be helping yeah, so Ike is actually going to be living with 1 HP, so you do need the spare defense support here. Let's go. As you wish. And we just have to move our units over here. Because we're going to be ganging up on Ishtar with Fiarm and Ike. Right here. Yes. So we're going to be giving Fiarm the attack defense bond buff. And Ike is going to be able to finish this off with his Let's Radiant move. Aether. No stopping me. So that's my second infernal solution without a dancer. Now let's move on to the third infernal solution. My third infernal solution has got a Fiarm and no Legendary Ike, and I also do have a Groom Marth. So make sure to give him Spur Attack, one Sacred Seal, and he does have a support with Bright Cheetah, but doesn't really matter for this battle. And then I've got Ethlyn for the Physic Plus Healing, Olivia here, and uh, make sure to give her Drive Attack, two Sacred Seal. Because we are trying to one-shot Ishtar with this team. Um, so you do want to stack up some attack. And then I've got Fiarm. Make sure to give her a quick repose sacred seal. And that's my team. Now the sure. reason why Ishtar is not really easy to take out with a free-to-play Fiarm is because she can uh, trigger Moonbow twice in a combat. Now you could definitely absorb one of them yes. uh, with her special. But the other one is definitely going to be hurting a lot. And uh, Ishtar is not going down in one hit if you do not stack up some attack on your Fiarm. So here we're going to be using Rally Speed and Defense. The Defense buff is uh, really necessary for Fiarm's survival. If you do not, then uh, this Bullfighter will be able to take out your Fiarm sure. after you take out Ishtar. Of course. And we have stacked up Spur Attack 1 Sacred Seal and Drive Attack from Olivia. And we can one-shot Ishtar exactly with this. And as you can see, uh, that Rally Speed and Defense really saved Fiarm, otherwise she would have gone down. Reinhardt, surprisingly, is not really that big of a threat on this map, actually. Even with his Death Blow, he doesn't really do all that much damage. And down goes the Spoke Fighter. Now we can just take out this Green Mage. Uh, we don't really have yes. a red unit on our team, so this mana kit is really okay. hard to take out. And I do know I've got an Olivia with the red color, but the thing is that she's not really all that offensive. And uh, she actually gets one round KO'd by this green mana kit because she can double Olivia. Um, so we can just have Fiarm and Marth over here. Now, this uh, green mana kit is definitely going to be attacking Marth. Right here for 29 damage. If only you do want to stall a bit because this green mana kit has got Moonbow and she's nothing to play around with. So we can just have Marth here As you say. Okay. and use Rally Speed if and only. Defense on Fiarm so that she does not get doubled by this green mana kit uh, because she does have 31 speed. And now you just want yes. to retreat here for a bit. Oh, this green mana key does so have her Moonbow ready, but we can definitely survive here uh, at full HP. And now we need Together. some healing basically to uh, take out this As you say. green mana key. Sure. By surviving her Vantage hit. Yeah, as I said, <laughs> a lot of units on this map have got Vantage. So those were my three Infernal Solutions. If you have any sort of trouble, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try my best to help you. And uh, let's move on to the Bounter Battle Banner. Just gonna be redeeming my free summon. They actually have got both of the Reinhardts. So this blue Reinhardt is definitely gonna be blocking the uh, <laughs> summons for a lot of people with Ishtar. Um, I'm actually gonna be trying to go with the red stone here trying to get a sword Reinhardt let's see if I can get him on my free summon 
It's just gonna be a three star. At least be Selena or Hinata. Okay, it's gonna be Selif. He has nothing for Sklarentens. Other than Rally Speed, I guess, which I can use as a step up for uh, Tail to use um, Drive Speed and Dual Rally Skill Inheritance. Alright, so let's move on to the... For my Lunatic Solution, I'm going to be using this team of free to play units. I've got Sias, and he's an extremely recent Grand Hero Battle unit, like his rerun just ended yesterday. And we're mainly going to be using him for Speed Ploy. And then I've got Fiarm, make sure to give her a quicker post Sacred Seal. And then I've got Matthew. And uh, once again, he's needed here for the Hone Speed support. And you also need to have Spur Speed 1 on him. And we're not really going to be using his healing here. So if you want, you can actually replace this Matthew with a 4 star Tail 2. And she should work out in place of him. And then I've got Lloyd here for taking on that green mana Keat. And that's my team. So let's begin with Lunatic. On Lunatic, we do not have that red mage, uh, which is definitely pretty nice. So here, we're going to hit Ishtar with the speed ploy with Sias, and we're going to be stacking up speed on Fiarm so that she does not get doubled by this Ishtar. And down she goes. And because we have a lot of speed, even though we are not in the range of Cooker Post, we can double and take out that bow fighter. And here, uh, you just want to have some chip damage on this Reinhardt, I guess, with your Matthew. And you can just have Lloyd over here in the range of the screen mana Keat. And now we can just take out this... Cavalier and have Lloyd use his iceberg. Yes. Thanks, justice. Ended up with his perfect special code. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like and share this video with your friends who are trying to beat this banter battle. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.